Hey gearheads and DIY mechanics! Welcome back to our weekly tools channel. Today, we're diving into the world of automotive diagnostics with a step-by-step -step guide on how to connect an OBD2 Bluetooth adapter to your Android device. Whether you're a car enthusiast or a DIY mechanic, understanding how to utilize this technology can save you time and money when it comes to diagnosing vehicle issues. So let's get started. Before you begin, Make sure your car is OBD2 compliant most cars built after 1996 are, check your owner's manual or online resources. You'll need an OBD2 Bluetooth adapter. These are readily available online and in auto stores. Have your Android phone or tablet handy, with Bluetooth enabled. Step 1. Locate the OBD2 port. This is usually under the dashboard, near the steering wheel. Consult your owner's manual for the exact location in your car. It's a 16-pin trapezoidal connector. Step 2. Power up and plug in. Turn your car's ignition to the on position without starting the engine. Take your OBD to Bluetooth adapter and plug it firmly into the port. It should fit snugly. Step 3. Pair your phone and adapter. This is where many people get stuck. Don't try to connect through the app. Go to your Android settings. Settings wireless and networks Bluetooth. Turn on Bluetooth if it's not already. Wait for your adapter to appear in the list of available devices. It might be named something like OB2, ELM3-7, to or the brand name. Tap on the device and enter the pairing code. This is usually 1234 or 0000 for most adapters, but check your device's manual for the exact code. You'll see a confirmation message on your phone and adapter once paired. Step 4. Download and launch an OBD2 app. There are many great OBD2 apps available on the Google Play Store. Popular choices include Torque Pro, Dash Command, and OBD Fusion. Choose an app that suits your needs and budget. Some offer free basic features, while others have premium upgrades for more advanced diagnostics. Launch the app and follow the on-screen instructions to connect to your paired OBD2 adapter. This usually involves selecting the adapter from a list. Step 5. Explore and Diagnose. Congratulations, you are now connected. Your app will start displaying real-time data from your car's ECU. You can see things like engine RPM, coolant temperature, fuel efficiency, and even trouble codes. Tips and tricks. Not all OBD2 adapters are created equal. Choose a reputable brand with good reviews. If you're having trouble connecting, double-check the pairing code and ensure your Bluetooth is enabled on both devices. Some apps require an internet connection for additional features or live data updates. Always consult your car's owner's manual before making any changes to settings or clearing trouble codes. By connecting your OBD2 Bluetooth adapter to your Android device, you've unlocked a powerful tool for understanding and maintaining your car. Keep in mind that some features may require a paid subscription within the app, but the insights you gain are invaluable. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and let us know in the comments which OBD to scanner you prefer or if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.